challenge. Well, I was listening to our VBS music for this week. So Ooh, good, right? Yeah, and I can't believe it's already day four of VBS. So how did serving your neighbors go? That dog is high maintenance. But doesn't it feel good to serve others? I guess so, being God's love to them. Here's my picture. <laughs> it was good to, that my neighbors could experience a little bit of God's love that way. I know people have served me right when I need it the most. Yeah, one time I hurt my shoulder and I had to go to the hospital and the nurses were so kind to me. Even though I was in so much pain, I felt like I was experiencing some of God's love just because of how kind they were. And today we're actually learning about Gideon. He served his community. That's right. He served the entire Israelite people by leading their army into battle. Let's find out more about Gideon. And the people of Israel went back to doing the things that God told them was evil. As a result, God put them under the rule of Midian for seven years. Midian overpowered Israel, causing the Israelites to flee to the mountains to hide in caves and forts. And when they planted crops, Midian and Amalek came and destroyed them. The Midianites left the Israelites with nothing and killed their animals. There were so many Midianites, they could not count them. The people of Israel had nothing left, so they cried out to God. Why God? Why God? A prophet of the Lord said, This is what the Lord, the God, of Israel said, I brought you up out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. I rescued you from the hand of all your oppressors. I drove them out before you and gave you their land. I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not worship the gods of the Amorites in whose land you live but you have not listened to me. The angel of the Lord came down and sat under an oak tree where Gideon was threshing wheat in a wine press to hide from the Midianites. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Pardon me, my Lord. If the Lord is really with us, then why are all these bad things happening? What, where did all the wonders go that our ancestors told us of whenever they said, did the Lord not, not lead us out of Egypt? Go in strength. Save the Israelites from the Midianites. How can I save the Israelites? My family is the weakest in the land, and I'm the weakest of my family. Go in strength. The Lord will be with you. You will cast down the Midianites, leaving not one alive. Gideon is sleeping when he heard the Lord speak to him. Get up and go to camp. I will give the camp into your hands. If you do not want to take over the camp, take the servant with you and listen to what they are saying. And at that point, you will to take the camp. Gideon and his servant travel down to the outpost of the camp. There were so many men of the Midianites and other Easterners. It was like looking at all the sand at the seashore. They arrived just in time to overhear a conversation. I had a dream that a round loaf of barley bread came rolling in the camp. It struck a tent with such force that the tent overturned and collapsed. What do you think that means? It could be nothing more than the sword of Gideon, son of Joash, the Israelite. God has given the Midianites and the whole camp into his hands. When Gideon heard this, he bowed down and worshipped. He then returned to the camp of Israel. Get up! The Lord has placed the camp into our hands. We will divide into three groups of a hundred men. 
Each of you, grab a jar and light, light a torch. Place your torch into the jar and grab a trumpet and watch me. Follow my lead. When I get to the edge of the camp, do exactly as I do. When I blow my trumpet, you blow yours as well. And shout for the Lord and for Gideon. The men did just as Gideon said. And as God promised, the Midianites ran in terror. Wow, Gideon served his community by being obedient to God, even when he was really scared. Wow, I probably won't have to lead my community into battle. No, but there's other ways that we can serve our community. Okay, well, I have a question. What is my community? Well, your community could be your school, your neighborhood, the city that you live in. Okay. So here's some discussion questions that you can ask with your family. Pause the video and take time to talk about it. Have you been obedient when you didn't want to? What are ways you can obey God? What are some ways that you can serve your community? Wow, that was some good discussion questions. I love all the family time we're getting through VBS this week. Discussion questions, the crafts, activities, coloring sheets, and music? It really is the best. I've loved learning about Gideon. He was so brave. He was. I'm gonna try really hard to be super brave this week and be obedient even when it's really hard. That way I can serve my community. Talking about brave and serving the community, we have a really cool person that will read today's scripture. Some of you may recognize her as our school resource officer at Zoffa Springs Elementary School. Hi kids, this is Deputy Soria and I'm the school resource officer here at Zoffa Springs Elementary. Some of you may know me or recognize me if you attend Zoffa Springs School. Part of what I do here as a school resource officer, the biggest thing that I do is I make sure that each and every student is safe and taken care of. And now I'm going to read something for you out of Judges chapter 7 verses 19 through 20. It was just after midnight after the changing of the guard when Gideon and the hundred men with him reached the edge of the Midianite camp. Suddenly they blew the ram's horns and broke their clay jars. Then all three groups blew their horns and broke their jars. They held the blazing torches in their left hands and the horns in their right hands. And they all shouted, a sword for the Lord and a sword for Gideon. Each man stood at his position around the camp and watched as all the Midianites rushed around in a panic, shouting as they ran to escape. So we've talked about being brave, being obedient. We've learned about our community heroes like police officers and nurses and how they are serve the community, they're brave, they're obedient. That would be a great family challenge on how to serve our community. Yeah, we could do something really nice for some of our local community heroes. Yeah, we could bake them cookies, take them a card, and take it to them and just show our appreciation for them. Good idea. Make sure to take a picture as you're doing it and use the hashtag NHBCVBS2020 so that we can feature you in our family spotlight. Yeah, and I'm super thankful for all of the people in God's community. Yeah, in God's big backyard, there's so many people that are serving our community. So we wanted to do for our craft for day four, a blessing bag. So you'll have one of these in your packets. We encourage you to decorate it. You can even write a little note or maybe even your favorite Bible verse on one side. Add stickers, glitter, whatever you want to this blessing bag. You can fill it with like small toiletry items or just like some of your favorite things and then give them to people um, as you see lead and it can be a blessing for them. Yeah, that's a great idea. And you know, we only have one more day left of VBS. That's right. And it's the most important night of the entire week. I'm really sad this week has gone by so fast, but I'm so encouraged by what God will do in your hearts tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. You scared me to death. You scared me. Good thing we have Jesus in our heart. <laughs> and to bat, no. Why do I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. Uh -huh.